there. Oh no, I just realized that you can see the thing in the mirror. Shit. Can do that for now. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm so stupid sleepy. I'm probably not going to stream very long. I don't even know why I'm streaming, honestly. I should just be putting my bed down, going to bed. <sighs> but here I am anyways, streaming still. I don't really expect anybody to come by. I'm probably only going to stream for like half an hour, 20 minutes, something like that. So I don't really expect anybody to swing by, but... I just set up new lighting in here. So now the background's all lit differently and have a hue light here, a hue light back there. I have a daylight bulb here. I should probably make this the second hue one. I don't know, it looks better now than when the hue one was there. is offline I'm not offline I should be online that's weird that's weird I'm just going to fall asleep on stream. Which I don't think is against the rules. I think it's just against the rules to keep streaming once you fall asleep. So maybe you have to set up some sort of like dead man switch. Where like once I stop hitting the thing on the stream deck, my stream ends five minutes later. 10 minutes or something like that. I could probably do that for an ASMR stream. Do some sort of dead man switch for it. I wonder if... <clears throat> Thank you, stream elements, for... Just now saying I'm live. <laughs> Did I just go live? What the fuck's going on? Uh. Hmm. About OBS Dead Man Switch. Software equivalent of a dead man's switch. Is there a different name for this? God, my nose itch is so bad. It always does, I don't know. It's something about live streaming, I think.
it's probably something you'd have to program yourself, honestly. It's not looking like it's really anything that anybody does. OBS, turn, turn off stream once I fall asleep. I don't see a way to turn live stream off. <laughs> it's something I'd have to program myself. Unfortunately. <sighs> mm. And I don't have the technical know-how to actually do that yet. I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to figure out. Probably be pretty simple. Dude, airplane, what? That airplane? <laughs> What's going on? How are you? What's happening? I am very tired and I'm about to go to sleep. But I set up these new lights. Not new lights, they're old lights, but I set up a new configuration of lights. I do need sleep. Look this bag here. It's ugly. People are gonna come in and say I look like I'm on meth, which has happened before when I've streamed when I'm super tired. And it's just a thing. And then I respond with, I mean, I take Adderall, which is basically, yeah, What about it? <laughs> but yes, I do need sleep. I've been up since... I guess 8 p.m. So it's not too bad. Are you better than that day? I don't know. I don't know what day you're talking about. There's been a lot of days and they've mixed together. I don't even remember what I did last time I streamed. To be perfectly honest, like, I really, really don't. No, 
this shit. Mm. <laughs> Understand, but soon go to rest. Okay, I will. I'll probably only stream for like no another 20 minutes. I just like, I did all this setup, so I was like, I have to, have to stream for a little bit. I spent like over an hour setting up a stream. I can't not stream, you know? It's just, it just doesn't feel right. Brazil right now. It's, uh, 22, 20. Oh god, you're gonna make me do the math. Uh, 10, 30 p.m. Okay. And you're wide awake. I mean, at 10, 30, I'd be awake. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's probably what. Oh god. Actually, I won't be wide awake. I'll be really sleepy because I'll probably, let's see, I'll probably go to sleep 3 p.m. It's seven hours till 10, so probably 11 o'clock I'll wake up, which realistically, let's be real, I'll probably fall asleep around 4 p.m. And then, um... Oh, that's someone else. Coffee house. <laughs> I assume that was dude airplane talking. My bad. Um Yeah, I'll probably probably wake up around midnight. <laughs> and then if I uh let's see. Let, let's try to I'm trying to like stay up a little bit later. Every day, wake up a little bit later till I get back to a good rhythm. So if I'm going to bed at 4 p.m., waking up at midnight, then tomorrow I can go to bed at 6 p.m. and wake up at 2. And then 8 p.m., wake up at 4. 10 p.m., wake up at 6. And that's like, that's like a relatively like healthy cycle. So I'm what, three days away from that? Not too bad, right? So welcome coffee house. I don't think you've been here before. Uh, hope your day's going well. No, I'm new here. It's went well, busy, but well. What'd you do? What were you busy with? God, it's like 10, so you're eight hours ahead of me. Which would put you probably in Europe? Right? Somewhere around there? Airplanes from Brazil, if I remember right. So they're probably like three hours ahead of me or something like that. Maybe four. I a coffee shop called Coffee House. Do you really? You have like a Twitch stream for your coffee shop? Or... Wait a second. Whoa. 
Hey, Nightbot. Good job. Oh my god. These people trying to spam the buy followers. Shit. You go, Nightbot. You tell it to him. <laughs> Damn, three in a row. That's the same thing that happened a little bit ago, actually. just started today but we're going to start a shop live stream just to show people what goes on or ask any wanted questions that's awesome I'm all about that there is a uh, there is a grill I th mm, no it was a mac and cheese uh food truck that I went to over in like Moscow, Idaho and they had a live stream <laughs> they were just like live streaming like with multiple camera points like the people ordering and then making the mac and cheese and just like talking to chat while they didn't have any thanks for the follow man Appreciate that. <laughs> Still have both Streamlabs and Stream Elements thanking in chat. I need to change that. I haven't gotten around to it. Uh. Well, this stream is going significantly better than I thought it would. I thought I'd get nobody coming by for the entirety of the stream, which I'm going to say is going to go another 10 or 20 minutes. Because <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> and I want to go to bed. At fucking... I, I, the thing, I drank an energy drink like three hours ago as well. And that got me, like, all hyper and jittery, which doesn't normally happen. It wasn't a good jittery. It was just kind of like, I have energy in me and I don't know what to do about it. Kind of. That wasn't great. Get some sleep. You get some sleep. No, I should get some sleep. What's going on, Davis? How's your day going? How's your day going? Dog. Day is good. I tried pulling an all nighter, but passed out around seven. Got it. <laughs> I pulled an all nighter because I woke up at eight p.m., so it wasn't wasn't too hard for me. And now I'm pretty sleepy around two thirty. Gonna go to bed, probably fall asleep around four, and wake up maybe midnight. I don't know, something like that. 
something dumb like that. I'm using Chatterino for chat, trying that out, and it doesn't. It doesn't like change the. Um, it doesn't change the color of. Usernames, but I know there's a way to do it. There's definitely a way to do it. We work night shifts, or do you, do you just like to wake up really late? I work night work night shifts. Uh, my coworkers don't wear masks, so I go in after they leave. Those odd hours will get you. I'm just terrible at sleeping. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna set up like some firm hours. Just be like, okay, I'm going in at like seven and working until midnight, and then I don't know. I'm gonna set up some like firm hours and just be like, I'm not working later than this time, and get myself like an actual sleep schedule. Because I, I need to I need to stop this variable sleep schedule shit. It, it's terrible for me. It's absolutely awful. p.m. every night and I wake up at 6 a.m. but I really don't know why I'm still up. Why are you still up? Is it because you had too much coffee because you just opened your coffee shop? Or you didn't just open, right? You just started your Twitch thing. Trying to get Chatterino to like make the usernames different colors, but I don't know how to do that. Mm. I hear someone with the same issue. There's a setting to enable colored names for people who never chose one, is there? Oh, there we go. That should fix it. I've been open one year, one month, but the stream thing will start on Wednesday. Cool. I'm going to... This should follow you. I don't know if that works. I'm gonna go ahead and check. Hey, yeah, it did. Cool. I'm following you. I'll try to pop by. I'm not very good at popping by people's Twitch streams, though. But I'd like to see what you're doing with your uh, coffee streams. That's that's interesting to me. Mm. I 
It did not do any color though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm it makes no difference to you, but uh it just showed up as in color on here so I can actually differentiate people now in my little chatter, you know. I'm trying to use this instead of trying to have like a either OBS Twitch chat or a Twitch chat browser open. It's just easy. It's nicer to have just something to open up and it has cool features like you can, can click on people's names and like uh, see their like comments that they've posted in the past, which I, I, I just I just found out today which gives me a lot of uh that's really great that's gonna be really great for me for remembering who people are because i suck at remembering who people are <laughs> is really bad you probably have no idea what i'm talking about that's fine Everything's fine. I'm really bad with names. Yeah, me too. And I have this thing where I'll go like a month without streaming and then people, some people come back and I'm like, I think you've been here. You can click on their name and chat and it'll tell you how long they've followed you. Um, which come... Uh, it doesn't appear that it does that in Chatterina, though. Interesting. Hmm. It really should, because I use that a lot. I really need that feature. Um, how do I make it do that? my stream where I off screen uh, just mess with my chat program and uh, reference what the settings I'm looking at and looking for without really showing anything. So is your stream just chill chat or do you game or stuff? So, um, a lot of my stream is kind of chill chat. Um, sometimes I'll stream watching videos or I want to do like streaming, researching stuff like different countries, like just learning about a country and its history or current landscape and political landscape or whatnot because that's interesting to me um i i've i stream some vr stuff um i need to get back into that i just moved my room around so i just got this like really great green screen setup uh and had it operating like perfectly and then i was like i should change up my entire room layout and i did that so i need to get some hooks up in different spots around here and get 
uh, green screen setup again. Like full body green screen. Um, I do some ring fit adventure. So some exercise streams. I need to do those way more often. Because uh, they're fun. And it gets me to exercise, which is very important. And I don't do... very often I can do any ring, more ring fit that was fun yeah yeah I will it's just uh I just haven't <laughs> felt like I want to exercise I, I I'm probably won't I probably won't do it with the green screen unless the green screen's already set up I don't know maybe I do like the look of it with the green screen way better, but it's just kind of a pain in the ass. And for something like an exercise stream, I want it to be as, like as low barrier to start the stream as possible, you know? And it's already kind of a pain in the ass with like getting the switch and you know the capture card all hooked up and everything. That's just like another thing to add to it, so. I'm from Scotland, nothing interesting about here. VR sounds fun. Just started exercising with my boyfriend. Again, I don't know how people do it. Yeah, I know. It's it's rough, man. It it's it's real real bad. Now my face is like weirdly yellow. It shouldn't be yellow. One thing I hate about using uh, Epoch Cam is that you can't really control the white balance and they really need to fix that because God, do I want to control the white balance? I don't want it to change ever during a stream. I just want it to stay the same. But, you know. See, look at that. Look at how yellow I... Like, why would it do that? Why would it assume that I want the white balance to change midstream? There's no reason I would want the white balance to change midstream. That's ridiculous. Color keeps changing, but I thought it was one of those fancy lights. No, no, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just the Epoch cam. It, it just, it just keeps doing this. Ah, uh, you know what it probably is? It's probably these lights messing with it. Hmm. Let me set those to something stable. New cam? No, it's not a new camera. It, it I've, I've been using this setup for a little bit now. Uh. It's, it's an app on iPhone that um, Elgato bought, actually. They're, they're big in the uh, live stream hardware game. Uh, but it's this, it lets, you can use your phone as webcam. And it's like, aside from using my boyfriend's like uh, mirrorless like SLR, um, it's, it's like the best camera I can use. Um, and it's also a pain in the ass because you can't control the fucking white balance. Uh, they, they, they need to get a PC controller for it. It's ridiculous that they don't have a PC controller. Do you use your iPhone camera? It looks so nice. Yeah, yeah, I use my iPhone to stream. I just, uh, Epoch Cam, uh, it's like eight bucks or something like that, and just plug a USB, uh, lightning cable into your computer and into your phone. You can do it wirelessly too, but I, I do it wired because it's a little bit more stable. It's, it's not the best app. The quality is good. There's another one called IV Cam that I've... Okay, it's definitely something with that light. 
Let me set this to a stable. Like a stable solid color. Okay, let's see if that stops. Doing it. it should. There's no reason why it should keep happening now. There's absolutely no reason. We'll see. All these nice, my current webcam setup, whenever I use it, looks so outdated. Yeah, I know. I, well, I mean, I don't know from your, from your experience, but I have uh, my webcam here that I am still gonna, I think I'm gonna have it set up specifically for VR. But even then, I'll know. I might still use my phone for that. Um, but just having this set up and like, okay, this is the setup to film the green screen and only to do green screen shit. But I still think using my phone would be better for that. I don't know. Fuck. Fell. But yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I actually do recommend uh, Epoch Cam. E P O C C A M. There's a free version you can try, but it's like low resolution. It's good to try. I think it does occasionally go on sale for like half off. So I'm using this feature um, on your stream looks very polished now. I'm very bare minimum. Uh, polished how? Like the overlay or like the lights? I'm, I'm pretty happy with the light setup, honestly. I've been kind of slacking on getting the lighting to be proper and it, it's very... Um, I don't know, janky right now, but it looks all right. I just have like three desk lamp, desk lamps with some bulbs in them and my uh, color panel down here. I would show you, but uh, let me. It's, uh, I have my phone on a tripod at the moment, and that motherfucker is a pain in the ass to get your phone in and out of. I need to get a new holster, honestly. And I just have a uh, desk lamp there with a uh, daylight bulb in it. I have that desk lamp over here with a hue bulb so I can change the colors and tone of it um, which I thought I had it to be kind of purple to match uh, let's see if I can get it let's see if I can show it right oh, come on actually I can hang on I'm just going to use my phone and a tripod, but I left the purple lighting. Yeah, I do too. Uh, oh, come on. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, so that thing down there, it's like an LED panel. Uh, and it's just shining all on this. And then you have my other well i can just other desk lamp back there to do like the rim lighting which makes a big difference honestly with lighting having a rim light oh you can see it back here too my dirty 
mirror with the handprint on it. I don't know why that's a thing. I need to clean that. Overlay looks super nice. I'm sure the new chatbots are super helpful. Yeah, I have like three chatbots in here right now and they already helped. They already like deleted three different links. I need to probably change my chatter, you know, so that it doesn't show that because it kind of overtook my whole chat window here. I forget, do you do, do you do uh, webcam stuff often, Davis? <laughs> Still two different, hey, Manswiper, 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 is, uh, am I saying something dirty there? Is that a, No, I don't think that's anything bad. It's one of those names where it's like, am I saying some sort of, okay, it's German. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, am I saying some slur? Can't think of one. How are you doing? Do you live in Germany? Do I have a viewer from Germany? Such a simple setup and really does look nice. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I put a little bit of time into it today. Uh, find you. Yes, I am. Yeah, cool. I love I, I love how diverse my audience gets. Um, I, I get people from all over coming in here. It's awesome. It's it's honestly the probably the minority not not the minority but like the US people are like probably less than half of my my like chatting viewers if that makes sense I do sometimes I think I get too self-conscious if I have my why you're cute as fuck I don't get self-conscious Come on, man. When I'm drawing because I have this blank stare when I draw. Okay, yeah, that that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, I I I understand that actually. <laughs> I should honestly get a bigger desk so I can make a better setup, and also have room to put my drawing tablet. Yeah, you should. Yeah, put some, put some, put some. Put some effort into that. It's it's fun. Setting up streams is really fun. It's it's like one of my favorite parts of streaming, which kind of makes me think that I should get a job like setting up live streams for like some live stream company or something like that because I I just like it. I've I've spent like before. I've, there's been many a night where I spend like three hours on a stream setup and then just don't stream because I'm tired and don't re I use like the setup like once and then I change everything. At least this looks pretty good right now. Honestly, uh, um, if you if you, if more than anything, if you put focus into your lighting, um, it doesn't matter what camera you use, it's gonna look good if you have decent lighting. Um, like, let me show you. Let me show you. So if I was to This is what it would look like if I just streamed with my normal uh, overhead light. Which is fine, it actually looks decent still. Well, I still have this light. 
but um, it looks decent still. Um, but it just looks like a normal, it just looks normal, you know? Um, but you add a light there. Uh, get some light on yourself that instantly looks a lot better. Like you could do just this, just like one light. And this is just bouncing off the wall. Um, it, it makes such a huge difference. Like I, I feel like so many people on Zoom calls need to have one light in front of them and it would make the world of difference. They'd look so professional. Uh, I live in a studio so people get to see my kitchen when I stream. Hell yeah. Dude, lean into that. I don't think I'll be on cam. Most likely be pointing at espresso machines. Okay, yeah, that's that's cool. I think I think being on camera would also work though. Um, if if you end up liking it, then you can get like a couple different uh webcams. Like if it's something you do often, it's like okay, this is something I enjoy. Then you can get like a couple different cameras and get like a, a thing to switch between them. You know. That'd be awesome. Uh, like it's very important you don't need a good camera. Yeah, you can make a cheap webcam look like a DSLR if you use good lighting. There's lots of YouTube tutorials. You <laughs> just make me re rethink my whole setup. Yeah, good. I'm, don't, 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 uh, don't hold back from streaming. Um, because you don't think your setup's good enough. Stream and then improve it over time. Um, that's like the biggest advice I can give to new streamers is, to, and it's not advice I follow. I, I like, I, I don't stream as often as I should, but yeah, don't, don't like stream and be, even if your setup's not to the point where you want it to be, that it, it's important. To stream and you get a lot of sense of what you can improve if you actually start streaming anyways um so second light ooh that actually doesn't look good hang on <laughs> that uh you need to probably hit this first and hit the rim light which makes a huge difference and hopefully now this one's gonna look a little bit better actually let me turn off the overhead gives the back a little bit uh a little bit more of a uh deeper tone and gives me more control over my setup because i really don't like overhead lights and it looks all right I could actually probably, this is, this is very basic, I could probably move it, I think I had it more like this, more kind of purpley over here before. I could, I could probably still mess with the lighting a little bit, but I have a hue bulb here, hue bulb here, and I can just mess with the colors. I could make the uh, back one be like a more purple as well. Have like sandwiched purple with like a blue background. Actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like, like the look of a like solid white rim light, which the rim light, like you can do without it. It makes a big difference though. It's not even the best rim light, honestly. Like it should be like right behind me. But it looks so pretty before the lighting kind of blended everything together with your setup it helps put a focus on you. Yeah. Yeah. And and this is I mean I just I just threw this together in like an hour. 
um, it's it's it could definitely be tweaked better but I mean that's the biggest thing that can make you stand out honestly like on the platform if 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 your webcam looks decent you know like this this looks decent i i'd say this looks decent it looks like there's nothing too special about it it's just like lit all right and looks good like professional hey nox what's going on we're talking about lighting because i just set up some lighting around here and it looks a little bit a little bit more decent um just how lighting's super <clears throat> important like if you want to stand out on twitch having good lighting on your webcam can make a huge difference even if it's even if it's um Even if it's just like the little monitor camera, like it it make it makes a huge huge difference still. Just having that little bit of lighting that uh, just makes it look better. Yes, yeah, something my stream needs some work on. It doesn't take it doesn't need to take much. Like I have a couple expensive hue bulbs. I'm not really using them though. Like this one's a little bit purple over here i was showing uh them with my ipad camera i'll show you too i have my phone on the tripod there with epoch cam and just a like cheap like walmart desk lamp with a daylight bulb in it just pointed at the wall to get this a another cheap uh walmart desk lamp over there with the hue bulb that's shining just a little bit purple doesn't need to be though um desk lamp back there with it's a hue bulb but it's really just white right now so it really doesn't need to be um and then down there that purple lights just I got these like two colored uh, LED panels off Amazon for like 50 bucks um, off the advice of Alpha Gaming the YouTube channel that I highly recommend for like improving your live streams Alpha Alpha Gaming they're super great I think they're changing their name to Senpai Gaming soon um, Super recommend them. They also make uh, Stream Beats, which is uh, royalty free uh, music you can get on like Spotify. It's what we're listening to right now. Paris Heller is the guy's name. Looks really good. Good. You done a good job, and your advice is enough to keep me coming back to your streams. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Feel like I uh, know a decent uh, bit about what to do to make your stream look good. Um, I just don't stream often enough to use that advice, you know, because I have trouble making myself do things. I'm significantly less tired now. Crazy, right? I'm slacking. I haven't streamed in like a week. Same? Have I streamed this week? Did I stream the other day? I don't remember. I don't remember anything, man. Oh, God. I actually don't remember. When did I stream last? Nineteenth. Okay, so yeah, that's basically a week. 
since I streamed last. Wow. I've, I've streamed a decent... I've streamed a decent bit this year, though. I'm pretty proud of that. Streamed on the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 15th, the 18th, and 19th, and then 25th. The uh, second, the first. That's pretty good for me. I can't do much with colored lights as I have a public shop, but as far as camera positions and what to use, I thank you for that. Yeah, totally. Um, and just like, you know, uh, figure it out as you go along, you know? It doesn't have to look great at the beginning. Um, you can do a lot. You know, as you go along, you'll, um, yeah, but yeah, you, you don't need colored lights, honestly. Although, you know, you could make it look good in a coffee shop. You could make some subtle color look good. Set yourself a little bit. I don't know. If there's a will, there's a way to make it look good. How's a? Uh, you said you're from Scot Scotland. Is that what you said? Or did you just say you're Scottish? Did you say you're Scottish? You're from Scotland. Okay. Shop is very log cabin rustic. Got it. Yeah, that maybe doesn't doesn't wouldn't vibe very well. Possibly. Uh, what is what's COVID like in Scotland right now? I I I, I haven't heard anything about Scotland. The UK is awful. I've heard that. And I guess Scotland's part of the UK, isn't it? Um, but... Maybe some warm lighting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, make it a nice warm lighting stream. Do you guys like my overlay? I don't know. I, I do like the, like, refraction that I made for the bottom hats, like a weird mirror refraction. Uh, that could probably be a little bit more centered and look better. The new followers and latest follower. And the, geez, why is that so, hang on. Hang on. Why is that so off? That shouldn't, that shouldn't be like that. Hold up a minute. Oh God, oh Jesus. There we go. We're in T4, I don't know what T4 means. that transform go into my other one there these are two different scenes uh, that I switch between here and here so I just change the transformation on the text here and now it doesn't uh, it's not changed on this other scene so I'm just I just copied the transform on the last scene, now I'm gonna click on the uh, source there, transform, paste transform, boom, like that. Perfect. Only food shops that are open and takeaways, got it. I, I think, 
think Washington, the state I live in, uh, I think that we just opened up sit-down dining. Do you know Do you know anything about that, Davis? And give. I still don't know how to say your username. I'm sure you've told me like five times. I feel weird calling you Davis when like people in chat don't know who that is. Um. Oh no, knocked left. Knocked, no. He probably didn't actually leave, or maybe he did. I'm not very entertaining sometimes. It's fine. I like knocked, I should watch his streams more often. Sorry, I heard my name. How do you say your username? I think you've told me like three times. Sorry, I'm still working. Oh, you're working? I didn't know you were working. What happened? Uh, I was just asking if you knew if Washington opened up sit-down dining again. I, I thought I heard something about that, but I wasn't sure. T0 is normal, and his numbers go up. More shops closed. T5 being full, locked down. Okay, so you're pretty... Man, uh, it's gonna happen here too. It's gonna happen here too. And gave, okay. And gave. That that's that's very simple. I will try to remember that this time. <laughs> uh, it's probably best if I call you by that when other people are in chat as well, because nobody knows. Nobody in chat knows your real name. I, I should just look up the Washington rules. I don't know why I'm like, hey, hey, Davis, get in here. Tell me Washington law right now. <laughs> I know you're working. I didn't know you were working, actually. But uh, Washington. God, my nose itches. Oh, God. I swear to God, every time I stream, my nose is like the itchiest thing in the world, and it looks like I do fucking coke with how much I like sniffing. But the sniffing's a vocal tick, because I probably have Tourette's, uh, um, and like it, it itches. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Washington, uh, COVID. Restrictions. Let's look up. What's open? Hey, look at that. <clears throat> um. As of January 11th, all counties and regions are currently in phase one. Okay, did that change though? Worship services allowed up to 25% indoor capacity. Ah, god damn it. Okay. Ah, god. It's just like once your nose starts itching once, it, it never, it doesn't stop. We were allowed to have sit-in customers, but now we're only allowed to serve as, at the door. Yeah, that that's what Washington's been like. Like, you can... Well, actually, you can go into a business, but you have to leave. <laughs> like, once you get your stuff. Um, I'm just wondering if any of the rules have changed. My friend does Uber Eats, and she said that she saw some people eating indoors recently, but maybe that was just somebody not following the rules. It doesn't look like anything's changed. Which it shouldn't, like, it, we're still... It's so bad here in Seattle, is it?
I was in Bollard recently and the restaurants were pretty... F what? First of all, what's Bollard? <clears throat> neighborhood in Seattle. What neighborhood? Okay. Got it. Is Bollard a good neighborhood? I know nothing about it. <clears throat> Looked like a COVID accident waiting to happen. Like, that's against, like, state orders, isn't it? To have, like, anybody eating in restaurants, I thought. Small neighborhood in Seattle on the west side. Got it. Let's see. Oh god. Look at that spike. Look at that death spike. No. I hate it. Oh god. 3.7 people given the first dose. 0.67 given the second dose. At least we're picking up on doses. It's nice. It's like busy, but not as busy as downtown. More neighborhood friendly. Uh, we're still trying to, s to decide how to move down there. Uh, Portland is still in consideration for us moving. Or Vancouver, because that'd be cheaper. Uh, nothing's set in stone. I'd really love to move to Seattle more than Portland or Vancouver, though. Especially because I could keep my job. Probably. Spokane County. Uh, total cases per 10,000 residents. Let's look at this a little closer. Okay, never mind. That doesn't actually zoom in at all. Let's see. Per, per capita. 600 cases per 10,000 residents. Let's see, Walla Walla's worse than us here. Uh, Whitman's worse. Holy shit, Yakima is so bad. Holy shit, 900 cases per 10,000. Uh, who else is worse than us? Not, not a lot of people. Not even Stevens County is worse than Spokane County. What the fuck? Franklin County? Where the fuck is Franklin County? A thousand cases per... Holy shit. King County is 327. <laughs> Douglas County is 668. I think this is overall. Isn't it? think so. Benton, Adams County. Yes. Okay, we're one of the worst. Spokane County is definitely one of the worst counties. I didn't know that until just now. We had a woman in Scotland that was fined $10,000 for hosting a wedding with 400 people at it. Ah. Uh. Oh, 400 were fined. $100, yikes. Holy shit. I don't think Seattle gives a damn anymore. That's disgusting. I hate that. We're actually rather good with the spread. It's England that's the worst in the UK. Of course it's England that's the worst. Yeah, nobody's blaming Scotland for what's happening in the UK. Like, trust me. Like, us Americans don't know much about what's going on in the rest of the world. Trust me on that. We're American. We are ignorant of everything. But nobody thinks that Scotland's the problem. It's fucking England that's the problem. I feel so bad for you guys. You guys are really getting like the worst of uh, their bullshit lately <laughs> I 
King County has more vaccinations per 10,000 residents than we do. So that's cool, at least. This is a song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. Man. Like... The, the UK variant is just going to, like, be the dominant strain over here. It's like, what, three times more infectious and possibly more deadly? Like... I, I hate, I hate that these, like, motherfuckers, I, I hate how, I hate how selfish people are being during all this. I can understand if you, like, slip up, like, a few times, right? I went to a restaurant, I've gone to a restaurant once, like, sat down and ate during this whole thing. It was in July, it was on my birthday. And it was in an empty restaurant. I got some ramen. It was fucking amazing. I've not been in a sit-down restaurant since. I mean, I've gone in to get food and then left. Flynn's back to somewhat normal. I'm packing up and moving. Anywhere's better than the UK. I don't know about that, but... Where, where would you move? Where are you thinking? I want to leave the U.S. so bad. I want to get out of this hellhole country. I mean, I know that our standard of living is a lot higher than a lot of places. I understand that. But this is... Amer U.S. is one of the worst... Con I, I hate... I hate... I hate so much of what we do here. <laughs> I have so many issues with America. I'd love to go to Canada. Canada's pretty cool. From a biological standpoint, I'm afraid this is just becoming a survival of the fittest situation. We're just continually calling the populace. I don't know about... S I mean... Yeah, kind of, because I mean, the fittest are going to have the best immune systems and be able to survive better, but... It's also, God, there's a hair on my face. There's a hair on my face. Anyways, I'm having face itch issues at the moment. Probably because I'm, the sleepiness is starting to set back in, but I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm down for like looking up this COVID stuff because I should know the current COVID rules. And it looks like nothing has changed. Very similar to Scotland and Canada. I, I need, I love, I've never been outside the US. I wanna, I wanna travel. I, <sighs> hey, maybe, maybe air travel will be really cheap after, you know, this shit's done. Maybe once I get vaccinated, air travel will be pretty cheap and I can like, you know, cheaply travel somewhere without having to worry about getting sick. That'd be nice. I want that vaccine as soon as I can possibly get it. I want to go to Canada on the east side. What part of Canada is on the east side again? Oh my god, yes please, cheap air travel. I think it's I don't know, it's either going to be really cheap or really expensive. It's probably going to be really cheap because people aren't going to trust it. It's probably really cheap right now. 
honestly. <clears throat> Quebec and Newfoundland? I've heard good things about Newfoundland. God, it looks cold. <laughs> gotta, gotta say, not, not loving, not loving how uh, cold all this looks being up there. That's my problem with Canada. I would love to live in Canada, but I can't fucking handle how cold it is here. Like, that's why I want to move to Seattle because it's a little bit warmer in Seattle, but it's still Washington. I would love to move to, I, I want to move to California. I want, I want to get, I want to get somewhere where it's warm all year, but I'm not moving to California right now. I think it's gonna get more expensive. You think so? Maybe. I mean, can people even fly right now? Are we still banned from certain countries? You can fly within the U.S. But yeah, let's see where... What's... Oh god, I can't type right now. I can never type, but I can't type right now. What countries can Americans fly to? Where can Americans travel right now? Oh, there's a lot of places you can go. There's a lot of countries. I don't know if they're places you want to go. Um, let's see. Mm, you can go to South Korea, South Africa. Puerto Rico. Uh, you can go to Mexico. Ireland, you can go to Ireland. Does that mean you can go to like all of the UK? Um. Egypt, Costa Rica, and Brazil. You can go a lot of places. Bahamas, you can still go to the Bahamas. You can go to a lot of places, but a lot of these are places that I don't know almost anything about or places where I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'd want to go there. <laughs> we can fly, but you need to isolate for two weeks. I think if you're going to UK, I think, I think that's, it's that, I think it's that way for a lot of countries that like, I'm sure like every country has a COVID testing and quarantining phase for sure. Um, I mean, I have a full list of countries we can travel to and their restrictions, but I'm not going to go through all that right now. <clears throat> Literally had a guy tell me he went to Florida to go to Disney World and stay with his family. Oh my God. How is Disney World still? I know it's open. Like, I understand. I have a friend, a streamer friend, actually. He doesn't stream that often anymore, but uh, he worked at Disney World. He was laid off in the huge layoff that they did. But I think his wife still works there. Um, yeah, Disney World's still open, and it blows my fucking mind that it's open. It's literally fucking insane. I don't know if I can fly out, but I'm sure people can fly in. Not 100% sure on that. As much as I'd love to go to some of those countries, I can't afford to stay two weeks in a hotel and then start my vacation, right? I think a lot of places are 
you get tested in like 48 hours later you can go or like 72 hours which seems a little odd but I guess for me to fly to Ireland it would take me 15 <laughs> 15 minutes on the plane it would take me a lot longer Take me like maybe about that long to fly to Seattle. Maybe a little bit longer. Oh, one hour is. One hour, 15 minutes. Uh, well, time spent in the air is 47 minutes. One hour and eight minutes. <clears throat> Longer than I thought. I guess planes aren't very fast after all. That's not long at all. No, it's not long. I thought I just thought it was like a half hour. I guess it's close. It's like 40, 40 something minutes in the air, which is probably where I got that figure from. So here right now, retail stores have a 25% capacity and most places are sticking to that. Um, like pe there's people with uh, counters outside retail stores, like now more than ever. I, I don't think I ever saw people with like counters outside retail stores until this like past month if you go anywhere in the world where would you go Japan easy really easy Japan I love Japan I want to go I want to stay in a little uh, pod hotel I want to eat shit tons of sushi. Uh, I will, I'll still eat sushi. I'm pretty vegetarian, but I'm all right with eating fish. And like for sushi, I'll definitely, not octopus though. I can't eat octopus, never again. I mean, it's good. That's not why, it, they're just way too intelligent octopuses octopus are and I, I won't eat them not gonna happen I kind of miss working retail <laughs> paid a lot better I'd probably still be in it what did you what did you uh would you work retail capsule hotels terrify me but I'm very curious to stay on one in one dude I I like little enclosed spaces like that. I don't know. It's it, it's very comforting to me. Or I assume it would be because I, I like little, like, places. Not in, like, a, like, caving way. Like, that fucking terrifies me. I'd, like, if I can surround myself in, like, if I, if I could, like have a little sleeping pod here like that'd be great I'd love that or like you know have blankets all around like 
my desk and just like get under my desk and have like a little thing under there. I'll take my, uh, oftentimes I go to sleep when it's still light out and I don't have blackout curtains up right now. I need to work on getting my blackout curtains up on this big window. This window is blocked out with that uh, blanket there. But I have blackout curtains, I just need to get them up on this window. Um, but in the meantime, because it's still light, I'll take my body pillow and I'll like bend it. So it's like an arc, right? With like about like this much space, right? Like I'll put that like up by the top of my bed and just like put my head in it. So there's like this much space between me and the pillow and it's like a little cave for my head to go in and it's nice and dark and I'll take like the blankets and like bring them up over the body pillow so it's like my own little cave that I can be in and there's some fresh air from like the wall against the body pillow it's a very nice very nice little situation I've got going on with my bed right now probably still gonna do it after I have the curtains up being swaddled in pillows and blankets are much different than a coffin uh, have you have you done a uh, um, have you done a float tank before I've done that once it's it's very very lovely just shutting yourself into a pod filled with water that you're just floating on and you're just in nothingness and it's fantastic I love it. I like Nyx, but I can't have walls closing in on me. It wouldn't be closing in on you. I mean, you'd close the wall and then they'd stay a set distance away from you, you know? I'll have to go to Bora Bora, but it's way too much money. What's in Bora Bora? What's, what's so exciting about Bora Bora? I used to work in fashion retail, <laughs> fun dressing people up. Oh, you, you've maybe mentioned that before. <clears throat> Sad to say, but it was one of the jobs where people truly respected my opinion. Bruh, I need fashion advice. Actually, I'm not buying clothes right now, so I kind of don't, but... I want to try a sensory deprivation tank. Those are kind of cool. Definitely do it, yeah. Maybe, like, after the pandemic, because... That sounds kind of gross. Although I don't know that a virus would be able to survive in... Well, you wouldn't want to be in one of those rooms. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want to do that. God, they must be... Closing... I wonder if you can buy... How much are... Are they selling off their tanks? I mean, I'm not going to be able to buy like a $10,000 sensory deprivation tank, but... Sensory deprivation tank for sale. <clears throat> um, I think the I th I've only done it once. I I need I want to do it more often. Um, but the sensory deprivation tank place that I went to, which was actually pretty nice. But I think they closed down because I think an old lady died in one. I think she had like a heart attack. And they didn't, uh... They didn't, uh... They didn't get to her in time. <clears throat> Tank starting at $2,200? That's not... Not at all. Oh, that's why it's not bad. Because it's it's a it's a tent. Yeah, you just make your own for that much. <laughs> what? This turned fast. Dude. Yeah. 
I, I think I looked into it a little bit because I was wondering why they weren't there and it, it was it was yeah <laughs> the view is gorgeous and clear water and <laughs> calm place all right let me look up the article uh spokane uh float tank it's probably gonna pop up and the news Uh, three drownings in a week in Spokane River. What the fuck? Float tank. Death. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Wait, is this... No, this is Texas. Is it? Yeah, this is from Texas, but... I think this is the story I read, so maybe <clears throat> maybe it wasn't Spokane. Maybe they closed for different reasons. The one here. 71 year old had never been float tank. <clears throat> this is what they look like. It's like a pod and then this like closes and you're floating in there. The one I was in, I kind of like kept bumping into the wall a little bit. I guess it's hard to keep you, like, right in the middle of it, you know, because you're just floating. I wish it was a little bit bigger, though. <clears throat> the spa gives a laughable response to those who wonder if it's possible to drown in one of their tanks. It says a person can drown only if you can lay face down in water and tolerate the sting of salt in your eyes, nose, and mouth, or allow someone else to lay on top of you. Jesus. I don't think she drowned, though. Did she drown? How did she die? But for fanning, the contraption became a death trap. This is very uncommon, so don't, don't be afraid of being in a float tank. Alright, after taking a long shower, she was escorted to a tank room by the only employee- Okay, first of all, first of all, after taking a long shower, she was escorted to a tank room. The one I went to, there was a shower inside the room. I already don't like this. I already don't- I already don't think this is a very good business. I think this is a bad float tank place. You don't have a shower room and then be escorted to the float tank. What what the fuck are you gonna do? Get like naked and then get dressed in order to be escorted to the float tank room? Or do you put a towel over yourself and be like vulnerable? Like that's ridiculous. And you're gonna need to take a shower immediately after you get out of the float tank because it's like all salt water. Like you're gonna be salty. So you're gonna like be naked in the float tank because you're gonna be naked in the float tank. Like don't, like the whole thing is sensory deprivation. You don't wanna wear like a swimsuit in the float tank. That's ridiculous. You get naked in the float tank. And you're gonna get out and you're gonna what? Like cover yourself while you're all salty after this like cathartic experience and just like walk to a different room and shower. That's fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> Female employee told police that after she escorted Fanning to the tank, she returned to the front desk. After an unspecified amount of time <clears throat> went by, she said she found Fanning in a state of distress inside the tank and believed she had swallowed some of the solution she was floating in. Oh god, that's not good. 
that will dry you out from the inside, maybe. She stayed with Fanning inside the tank for a long time before going back to the front desk. The lawsuit says the woman didn't call 911, instead she called her boss. This is definitely the story I read, so it wasn't Spokane that it happened. Uh, I was wrong. Okay. She called 911 at 2.37, said a woman at the spa fell and hit her head in a float tank. And that he was on his way to the spa from the airport. Paramedics arrived, what, five minutes later? Found her unconscious, not breathing, and without a pulse. Why did she leave her? What the fuck? By their estimates, she had been cardiac arrest for 15 minutes before their arrival, and the cause of cardiac arrest was drowning submersion. Holy shit. So... so did she fall and hit her head? According to a report from first responders, the employee stated that the patient yelled at her that she had fallen and told her to call 911, so she went to the front desk and called her boss. But a lawsuit says she told police a different story. She told officers that she tried to call 911, but couldn't get the call to go through on her phone. When police checked her phone records, they said no attempt was made to call 911 from the device or the spa's landline. Employee didn't attempt CPR. So this is... God damn it. That's so fucking awful. I've never been one, but I don't like to float in water, never mind in dark pod. I like to swim in open places. It's, it's very... It's a very different experience. I'm not particularly a huge fan of getting wet out of it. It sounds like an interesting... It, it's, it's so good, dude. It's such a good experience. Because it's just like... Nothing. You know? Like, you feel... Like, you have earplugs in. Because I didn't have earplugs in. Um, I regretted that. Because salt gets in your ear and it starts to crust up. It's, it's not great. You need to put earplugs in. Um, so you might have, like, some sensory stuff from that, and every once in a while, you might float to, like, the edge, and, like, one of your, like, arms or feet might touch the edge, and then you just kind of float away from it for another five minutes or something like that. But aside from that, absolutely no senses. Completely pitch dark. Like, you really can't feel anything because, like, the air and the water is, like, the same as your body temperature. It's fantastic. I, I think mine was for an hour. I wish I had done two hours, honestly. I feel like I really could have... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do an hour and a half next time I do it. <laughs> it's great. I don't think I'll ever go in one. I'd like to try mud bath less <laughs> drowny. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't know about a mud bath. I'm not into that. I'm not into like mud and being dirty. I don't know. I know it's different, but. Uh. I feel like a mud bath would definitely feel more drowny. Yeah, I do too. I almost drowned under a waterfall once. I got like drug under it, like a uh, what, like a series of like small, like waterfalls that you'd like sit in a pool of water and like put your shoulders under. And I tried to do that. I was in Boy Scouts, so I had all the like bigger scouts were like doing it like for a massage, putting their shoulders under the water. My dad was there doing it, and. I tried doing it and I got pulled, like pushed under the water by the water and came up for air and then like got drugged back under by the current and like up again, down again, up again. And I finally got to like an edge and got out. But I was like feet, I was like four feet away from my dad and I was like drowning and he didn't even notice. 
Neither did anyone else. I could have died. Dad. <laughs> It'd be harder to get out. Yeah, that's like a uh, quicksand. I just wear a rubber duck. What? Oh, like a rubber duck ring. Yeah, I don't know if I can show these images on stream, so I won't, but... <laughs> okay, that does look kind of... <clears throat> there is a wide variety of what counts as a mud bath. There's like big open things where it's like very liquidy but like you go in and your body comes out all like gray covered in gray there's like baths of very liquidy water but you're like greenish gray or there's like tubs where it's like cement mud that you're in there's like black mud looks like you're in a sarcophagus there's a couple of these i'd actually like to do <clears throat> there's this beach in korea where it was also almost swept out into the ocean the drop off was incredibly steep and abrupt and the tide literally pulled you instantly i had to claw on my hands and on the beach. Shit, dude. That's fucking terrifying. My cousin actually got pulled out and someone had to rescue her. Shit. Fuck. That's a nightmare, dude. I don't like that at all. That's why I won't... That's why I won't swim at the beach. It's not worth it. I don't even like swimming to begin with. Why would I swim at the beach? really want to get to a hot spring. I've never been to a hot spring. All these people having a lot of fun at a mud bath. <laughs> hey Bella, what's going on? How are you? I don't think you've been here before. Not bad, thank you. Pretty all right, very tired. I uh, thought I was gonna be going to sleep, what? Like an hour ago? But I kinda had a second wave, you know, kinda, kinda woke up a little bit because some people came in and chatted and honestly thought I'd stream for half an hour and nobody would come by. People surprise me. We talked about lighting for a little bit. We talked about a lady who died at a uh, float tank. Uh, that's the kind of stream. That's the kind of stream you got here. Now we're talking about mud baths. What time is it for you? It is 4:01 p.m. I woke up at 8 p.m. So, running on 20 hours, it's not too bad. It's not crazy. Oh, it's 4 o'clock. I thought this was worst case scenario. I'd fall asleep by 4. Actually, this is great. This is like, honestly, the later I can fall asleep, the faster I'll be able to like get into a proper sleep schedule. You know, if I go to, if I go to sleep at 5 today, wake up at 1. Tomorrow I can do 7 wake up at three and then nine wake up at yeah it's 1 a.m there wait what the fuck are you in it's midnight for me okay so that's not too crazy you're like in europe somewhere a little bit further than the uk 
like maybe France is France further that way it is isn't it it's gonna be my guess of where you are where are you from I had someone from Germany earlier. Austria. Wait, where's Austria? Let me look this up. I don't actually know where Austria is. Let me just, oh, whoops, don't wanna show my location. It's not great. Um, it wasn't on screen, but you know. Maybe don't show Google Maps right away. Under Germany? Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Right there. I don't know much about Austria, actually. What's Austria like? Is it cool? I'm up in six hours, but this chill talk is good. You're up, you're up in six hours? You gotta sleep. What are you doing? You gotta, you gotta like live stream in two days. It's mountainy. Oh yeah, isn't there like a lot of like uh, skiing? Isn't it like a ski spot? Honestly, like the most I know about Austria is like they went there in Dumb and Dumber and they made the joke about it sounding like Australia. That's that's the most I know about Austria. God, all the European countries are so small so nice to have just like a small place like the size of a state just be like its own entire country and meanwhile in the u.s it's like oh yep we have this giant thing we call it nebraska it's like the size of like three countries and there's nothing there nobody lives there nobody lives in nebraska who the fuck are you kidding Nobody lives there. I'm sure plenty of... I mean. Okay, what's the population of Nebraska? Nobody lives in Nebraska. One point nine million. Mm. Wow. It's actually considerably more than I thought there were. Wait, how many people live in Washington? Seven point six million. Okay, Nebraska is not too bad. But uh, Wyoming. <laughs> Nobody lives in Wyoming. Half a million people. <laughs> Nobody lives there. Gross. <laughs> More like 1.9 people, am I right? Yeah, nobody lives in Nebraska. Get, get real. That describes the best skiing in winter, soccer, and summer. We're cold in winter and even colder in summer. Ugh. I need, I need to move to California. I need to live somewhere warm. I'm so sick. I'm so sick of winter and fall being like winter and spring being like winter. I hate it. I don't even live in the worst place. Like, I'd like, like, I like 
Canada, but Canada would be so much worse to move to than Washington. At least in Seattle, it wouldn't like to snow, you know? Or if it does snow, like the city shuts down. Can I tell a joke because my life is boring? Uh, sure. As long as it's not like homophobic or ableist or stuff like that. I mean, you can still tell it. We just won't be too crazy about it. I need to go some, I need somewhere that's just heat all year round. Yeah, California, man. I'd love, I'd love to live in California. Nah, it's nothing like that. It's all good. Yeah, go for it. It better be funny, though. I'm, I'm awake at 4 p.m. for this. Better be a funny joke for all this awakeness I'm putting into. 4 p.m. right now. Go to Hawaii, so beautiful. I'd love to go to Hawaii. I hear it's very expensive. I want to go so many places. I need money. I need stable income, and I don't want to do a lot of work for it. for three years after she gave birth to twins. Her brother named the twins for her. So she woke up and asked the doctor, so what's my twins' names? The doctor said the girl is Denise. She said that's not bad. What's the boy's name? Doctor said to nephew. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Her brother named him. Haha. -ha. Funny joke. <laughs> I have not heard that one. <laughs> it got it got and and gave fuck, I forgot how to say your name already. And and gave. Right? Fuck. got this guy <laughs> I cackled so hard <laughs> I, I don't cackle at a lot of like dad jokes anymore I've heard so many over my life and Gabe yeah okay cool I like looked back in the chat log and was like how the fuck do you say Yeah, your your joke went over well here. You're you're welcome to stay. I was gonna have I was gonna have to kick you out if it was if it was if it was bad, but you know it was, it's good so you can stay. <laughs> Mind if I steal it? <laughs> Sounds like it was in like the back of like a. Boys Life magazine? I, I want to say, holy shit. Boys Life? Is that the Boy Scout magazine? Holy shit, I have not thought about the Boy Scout magazine fucking, like, since I left Boy Scouts. Oh my god. Oh, it's called Scouts Life. Scout Life now. That makes sense because actually I don't even know is boys, is scouts even a thing anymore because they had all those sexual harassment lawsuits. I think they like filed bankruptcy and they might be done now. Ninety. 2,700 former scouts had reported sexual abuse by members of the organization. Holy fucking shit. 
92,700 former scouts had reported sexual abuse by members of the organization. That is fucking insane. Holy shit. They just revealed that in November. That's insane. When short people smoke, do they get high? <laughs> That's creepy as hell. Oh, I know. It's nuts. Thankfully, I never had any bad experiences. I think our our troop was pretty free of that. I mean, I only speak for myself, so, you know, but I never heard anything about that in my troop. I never got that sense from anybody in my troop. I think that we were pretty solid. So I'd say I'm not, also not very surprised. Yeah, no, it, it, it yeah. I mean, if, if, if you're someone who's into sexually abusing little boys, what better organization for you to join than Boy Scouts, you know? Like, it's, it's fucking gross. It's, like, easier to get into than the Catholic Church, you know? Like... so gross why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself I don't know why couldn't it too tired wow some messed up people on this planet oh yeah there are indeed some messed up people on this planet God, you're really hitting Engave hard with these jokes. He's having a great time. I'm glad you're here to lighten the mood while I'm talking about, like, sexual abuse in an organization <laughs> that was supposed to teach young men how to survive in the woods, because we're definitely going to need that information. It's a lot of the people in scouts probably did think we need that information because a lot of them probably think there's going to be like a event that's going to bring us back to primitive times because we're going back back brother cheese factory exploded in France debris went everywhere <laughs> I love Brie Brie and butter. Some bread. The old Twin Peaks sandwich thing. So fucking delicious. I'm running a little low on low on uh, fumes here. Now I'm I had I came in, I was tired. I streamed for a bit, I had a second wind, I was soaring, chilling, and now I'm, I'm starting to decline a little bit again, so we'll see. He proves it. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Thank you for following from me, Streamlabs, and Stream Elements. Can never have too many bots. Wow, three followers in two hours. Better. Better than my average. So, that's pretty good. Go to sleep, too. You've had a long day. Don't tell me what to do. I'll do what I want. I kind of want to go to sleep. <laughs> 
How does a penguin build its house? He glues it. Got it. Got it. What? I've never heard that before. I just slayed that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my bed out and uh, put my bed together and I'll stream I'll stream that and then after that uh, a stick uh, <laughs> that's one of my favorites <laughs> what's brown sticky a stick <laughs> ah Luke what's going on How are you? It's been a little while, right? Oh god, the cat that wants in. Or my boyfriend, I'm not sure. Which... Something's scratching at the door. I'm good having a lesson right now. Kleenex dance? I don't know. Uh, let me let my cat in. Put some boogie in it. Fuck off. Can I say hi? This is my sick cat. She has an eye issue. She has a. Uh, FHV, feline herpes. It's apparently very common, but she has an ulcer on her eye, so. She's in a little cone. We're giving her medication. We give her little pills in a little pill pocket, which works incredibly well. Just a little treat that he smush around the pill and she just eats it. It's fantastic. The vet was like, are you okay with pilling her? And I'm like, what is that? And she's like, you just shove the pill like down into the back of her mouth and like massage her throat. And I'm like, I can't fucking do that. Are you crazy? I'm not gonna sh like shove a pill down my cat's throat with my finger and then massage it down. That sounds like the worst thing in the world. Like for 28 pills, oh no way. But she takes the pill pockets just fine. I can do it? Oh man, I don't. I, I can't do that. I mean, if I had to, I would have to, but hope she gets better soon. Yeah, the eye is getting a little bit better. It's still cloudy, so, but we still have like maybe half of the medication left to give her and I'm giving her, I need to be giving her the eye ointment more often. I'm only giving it to her like once or twice a day. It's supposed to be two or three times a day, so. That's the only way to feed medicine, though. No, no, it's, uh, uh, we put them in pill pockets and she eats it. It's great. <laughs> they work really, really well for her. Did you hear about the Italian chef who died? No. <laughs> no, I did not hear about the Italian chef who died. He passed away. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get my bed out. Oh. Can you even see my cat right now? Can't, uh, she can't itch her head, so she's like in desperate need. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> my battery is about to die god's go see it okay it was cool having you bella thank you for making us laugh with uh corny dad jokes i appreciate it <sighs> my cat is having the time of her life right now oh, i know i know you want to do it with your foot girl She is, she is having a great time. <laughs> we do take the cone off her every like couple days or so. Should probably do it daily. Just have to make sure that she doesn't like uh, itch her eye. That's the biggest thing. So we have to monitor her. Great night, morning, I'm off to bed. I'll be back soon, I promise. Great chill stream. All right, cool, thank you for coming by coffee. I'll try to uh, catch your coffee stream. No guarantees, I'm pretty bad about uh, catching streams. Uh, but I'd like to see it. So have a great, uh, great night, get some sleep. tell you too. Bye. See ya. I'm such a sweetie. I love you. I'm such a cutie pie. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my bed and then I'll I'll uh be done for the night. time ASMR stream sometime soon just have like lay in bed and have the microphone there and just like do ASMR all sleepy like I can't fall asleep while streaming because I think you can get banned if you stream while sleeping like you have to be act there has to be someone actively awake for the stream is like the subject of the stream drink my water I have a thing I can't let I can't like drink water if I think that it's possible that a cat could have drank out of it it's probably not that weird it feels weird to me because people are um, I don't know. some people aren't weirded out by that but I am and if you <laughs> rub against that it's gonna be very very loud Don't do that, but ASMR stream does sound good. Yeah. I, I really need to. I've said for like over a year I need to do ASMR again. And make it like a thing I do often. Because I've had this, 
had like a uh, aversion to getting back into it, you know? So sad. I was almost just like, uh, <laughs> I was almost like, whoa, Davis, you've been like up all, up all night with me too. Like that's crazy. Like how, why are you up so late? And it's literally 4:30 p.m. That's ridiculous. <laughs> such a lack of any sense of time at the moment it's so it's so wild and it needs to stop What time's your normal uh, bedtime right now? I had a nap in between. I really need a comforter. I just have this like third and second blanket that's not even queen size. just finishing up work what you doing right now I just set up my bed and uh, now now I'm gonna stop the stream and go to sleep now that I have my bed all set up all nice and everything if I'm good I try to sleep before midnight but oftentimes I don't fall asleep until like 3 to 4 a.m. That's how it starts for me. And then it just spirals from there into this hellhole sleep schedule that I'm in right now. Um, thanks for coming by, Davis. It's always awesome chatting with you. You're like my most like <laughs> uh, regular viewer, actually, which is dope because I've actually met you and you're cool. Um, I don't think anybody else is watching right now, but if anybody's watching and they haven't followed, give me a follow, maybe. Uh, Alright, nice chatting with you, Davis. Uh, good night and goodbye. <laughs>